Ay lagi kong sinasabi yan sa inyo, si Lord nagpadala ng magandang mensahe. Bonus pa tayo, maganda ba yung tagapagdala? <laughs> My Miss Universe, please welcome Bishop Ian Oliveros! That was so powerful. That was so annoying. That review. All right. Na miss nila kanina. May mga nagre-request na ulitin daw yung praise and worship. Oo, mamaya na lang. Opo, pagtapos ng word. Okay. So you may all be seated in the presence of God. Thank you so much. All right. Parang hindi tala, parang kulang kapag ka, dito ho ay nagtuloy-tuloy po kaming mag-praise and worship. Pero parang kulang talaga kapag wala yung pagsamba, no? Because worship is liberating. Nakatatanggal lahat ng mga agam-agam, alala, kapag ho tayo sumasamba. I believe you will receive your miracle today. Kay Nino kaya yun? Sabi mo, akin yun. I receive my miracle. Type it there. I receive my miracles. Yes. Sige, hintayin kita. Sa'yo yun. Kung naniniwala ka, you're gonna type it there. Put it in the comment box. I'm gonna receive my miracles. There you go. Ayan. So, very important po na tayo ay naniniwala na may gagawin si Lord. Because God will speak to you today. Sinong naniniwala that God will speak to him or to her today? Sabihin mo dyan, God will speak to me today. I'll wait for you. Type it there. God will speak to me today. Kasi mahalaga po na ang Diyos ay mangusap po sa bawat isa sa atin. And if you believe God will speak to you today, you're gonna like this video and share this video to your friends and family members at the count of three. Let's all do this. I encourage you, please be a blessing to someone, to a family, amen, to a friend. Let's all do this. One, two, three, go. Share. Right pose, yeah, and then, and then pose. pose. Ah, yeah. Thank you so much. All right, so lahat ng mga ready na bibitawa ng kanilang mga hawak na walis tambo, sando, kaldero, tubig, lavada. You're all gonna focus on the word of God. The title of this message, if you're ready, sige, last ato. Type it there. I'm ready. I'm ready. We need to understand that we have to be ready in listening to the Word of God. I'm ready. If you're super ready, let your family declare, I'm ready. Sabi mo sa kaliwat kanan, kung katabi mo asawa mo, ang mga anak mo, sabi mo, wag ka maingay ha. Go. I'm ready. I'm gonna receive the Word of God. Wag ka maingay. All right. All right. Today, the title of this message is, What to do when you don't know what to do. Parang nakakalito yun. <laughs> Nalito ba kayo? Sige, type mo dyan. Nakakalito. Hindi, wag na. What to do when you don't know what to do? Ano ba talaga ang gagawin? Type mo yung title dyan. What to do when I don't know what to do? Alright. Ano nga ba talaga ang dapat ho natin ginagawa kapag tayo ay nalilito o hindi ho natin alam ang gagawin? Alam niyo po, maraming beses, when I was in college, Like uh, yeah, when I was in college, I biglang umulan, and my school was in Taft Avenue, and I have to ride a jeepney down the station of Pedro Hill. Can you imagine? That's around 2.2 kilometers, two kilometers more than two kilometers. So umuulan, bumabagyo. Alam niyo naman ho sa Maynila, sa mga taga Maynila, jan kung masapu kayo. <laughs> alam niyo naman, naman po sa Maynila, kahit naman sa ang lugar, pag umulan lang ay bumabaha. And hello po, 
At alam niyo po dun sa LRT, ay nako, punong-puno po ng tao. Siksikan, it was so congested hanggang doon na sa hagdanan. Because everyone, the streets were flooded. Yung pong uh, kahabaan ho ng Maynila ay flooded. It was around 3.5 feet high. Uh, almost, uh, nandito na po sa binti ko. <laughs> nandito sa taas, muntik na umabot sa bewang. Andito, hanggang dito, ang taas, ano, ng tubig. Can you imagine? Eh, medyo may height pa ho ako. Yung mga kasama ko, naku, hanggang bewang ho, may classmate ako hanggang dito na sa balikan ko. Naku po, yung palda niya lumilipad dun sa baha. <laughs> Wala tayong choice, sabi ko, kesa sa pumila tayo sa LRT. You know, sometimes we don't know what to do and titira ba tayo, lalakad ba tayo sa baha or maghihintay tayo ng pagkatagal-tagal. Sabi sabi ko, walang mangyayari sa atin pag mag tayo. Buti pa, lumusob na tayo sa baha. So, lumusob ho kami all the way from Taft Avenue to Pedro Hill. Whoa! It was really very, very hard. And sometimes, um, kapag ka-parent ka, d- during that time, wala pang cellphone. So, paano ako tatawag ng rescue sa tatay ko, sa nanay ko? And even if I call them, wala rin silang magagawa. At yak, dadaan din sila sa baha. At hindi rin po pwede uubrang sasakyan. Pero, just the same, nakakaba. Same thing as Christians. Minsan may mga sitwasyon ho tayo na hindi ho natin alam ang gagawin natin. Lalo kung may dilubyo sa family, or, or, or kaguluhan, or uh, sakit, karamdaman. You know, we can really be very chaotic kapag ka dumating ang mga uh, pagsubok o bagyo sa buhay natin. Amen? Now we're gonna read two Kings chapter four. This was this is about Elisha and the widow and a widow. Hindi hupi ng alanan. So let's read the book of Elisha right now. Let's open the Bible to book of Elisha. If you're there, we need you to uh, join us in reading Second Kings. All right, there you go. Ayan four one to seven. One day. All right. The widow of a member of the group of prophets came to Elisha and cried out, My husband who served you is dead. And you know how he feared the Lord. But now he, a creditor has come threatening to take my two sons as slaves. What can I do to help you? Elisha asked. Tell me what do you have in the house? Nothing at all except a flask of olive oil. Can I have the olive oil? Yung maliit lang, anak. And Elisha said, borrow, borrow as many empty jars as you can. Thank you so much. From your friends and neighbors, then go into the house with your sons and shut the door behind you. Pour olive oil from your flask into the jars, setting each one side aside when it is filled. I'll cut it there. All right. Kukwento ko na lang po sa inyo. Meron pong isang widow na kasamahan po, yung asawa niya ay namatay. Okay? Take note, this man was also um, a prophet. Kasamahan po siya sa mga um, isudyante ni Prophet Elisha. Kumbaga, siya rin po ay naglilingkod. May ministry din itong asawa ng uh, balong ito. And I tell you, siya po ay uh, namatay. At sa pagkakamatay po nitong uh, minister na to, or isa sa mga prophet ay si Jante ni Elisha sa kanyang prophet school or prophetic school, ay nag-iwan po ng malaking utang etong husband ng babae. At sabi ho ng, nitong si widow nung babaeng balo, Elisha, Pastor Elisha, ano pong gagawin ko? Hinahabol po ako ng mga creditors. Hinahabol po ako ng mga pinagkutangan po namin. Iniwan pong malaki na pagkakautang ng aking asawa. Wala po kaming natira. But you know how, how faithful my husband was? Sabi ho nito nga balo kay Pastor Elisha. Sabi ni Elisha, ganito ang gawin natin. Anong meron ka dyan? Sabi ng babae, meron lang po ako kaprasong langis. Langis lang po ang meron kami sa bahay. Hindi ko pwede itong ibayad sa aking mga ah, pinagkakautangan. Kulang pa ho ito. Siguro ito'y sapat lang sa isang pritong isda. Pritong itlog para sa aking dalawang anak. Ano pong gagawin ko, Pastor Elisha? And you know, this woman was so, was in dire need. Hindi ho niya alam. She was so troubled. Hindi niya alam kung saan siya pupunta. Kaliwa, kanan, puro utang po siya. But her husband 
was a faithful husband. Sila po'y naglilingkod. Sila po'y member ng uh, group ni Elisha. But the thing is, punong-puno sila ng utang. And this morning, just like us, marami ho tayong mga pinagdadaan ng mga bagay na nagpapatuliru ho sa atin. Hindi natin alam kung saan natin dadamputi ng pagkain mamaya, bukas, paano natin mababayaran yung mga bills natin. And same scenario. There are times na tayo po ay nababagabag when it comes to finances. And this is what's happening in the life of this widow. Ang sabi ho, comes the time when you do not know what to do. The first thing you should do is to seek godly advice. Type it there, seek godly advice. If you're going to read chapter 1 of 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 1, one day the widow of a member of the group of prophets came to Elisha and cried out. Imagine the word cried out used here is calling to God for help. No? So every time tayo po'y dumadaan sa mga suliranin ng buhay natin na hindi natin alam kung ano ang gagawin natin, I tell you, you need to seek godly advice. This widow, he sought the advice of Elijah. Elisha. And ang nangyari po, it was a godly advice given by Elisha. How many of you here, my question is, are you too proud to ask for help? Minsan dumadaan na tayo sa marami, sa matinding pagsubok. But sometimes our pride keeps us away from God because we do not seek advice from people who are godly. And we don't even seek God at all in our prayer time. We don't even seek God in His Word. How many of you here are suffering from dilemma of chaos, pero hindi mo na alam ang gagawin mo, pero you're still there, all by yourself, standing there crying all by yourself, not doing anything. I say that is pride. This woman, hindi na ho siya nahiya. Sabi niya, Pastor Elisha, please help me. Gabundok po ang aking utang. Iniwan po ako ng aking asawa. And you know, during the time of, uh, of uh, in the Old Testament, kapag po tayo ay nabalo, alam niyo po, kasi mga lalaki lang po ang may, ano nun, eh, say during those times. Eh. Kapag babae ang naiwan, ay talagang hindi mo halos makakapagtrabaho. Kaya kapag nabalo ka, talagang maghihirap ka. Eh buti kung malalaki na yung anak ni Rey, hindi ho naman nabanggit kung may anak. Pero ang sabi, kukunin yung mga anak niya bilang pambayad ho ng utang nila. Can you imagine how huge the amount of their debt was para kunin yung dalawang anak? Eh kung ikaw, anak mo yun, ako hindi ako papay kukunin si Prince, kukunin si Gail, eh, gagawin ko, ako na lang ang kunin mo. Ay, hindi rin papayag si tatay. <laughs> hindi rin papayag si tatay. <laughs> si Prince. <laughs> Alright. Nobody would want to have her children um, be the, the collateral. ba? Walang gagawang ganun. Walang magulang ganun. Kaya kapag ikaw ay dumadaan sa mga pagsubok, saan ka ba kapatid pumupunta? Kay nino ka ba talaga lumalapit? That's a big question. I hope our pride will not steal our, our joy in coming to the Lord. Our pride will not steal the opportunity you have as a child of God to receive instruction from the Lord. We run to so many kinds of people. Lahat tayo tumatakbo sa barkada. We, we even run, some Christians even run to love radio. Mm, kapag relasyon na, buksan mo sa love radio. Sige, sige, kaya yan. Maganda yan, maganda dyan. <laughs> Ruel. Can you imagine all many, or many Christians, many people run to all kinds of people except to God. I hope, hindi who last si Lord, hindi siya last resort. We often run to destructions. We often run to vices. Para pag tuliro ka na, daanin mo sa bote, Brad. Daanin mo yan, makukuha yan. Hindi din talaga makukuha. This woman, punong-puno siya ng utang. Sabi niya, 
Pastor Elisha, I'm here. Please help me. And the cry she's using, the word cry here, is it's like saying, please God, have mercy on me. Yung po yung pagkakagamit po dito. God, please rescue me. That's the word implying for the word cry. Lord, help me. I need rescue. Type it there. Lord, I need rescue. Come on. Come on. I'm going to wait for you. All of us need rescue from the Lord. Ano man yan meron ka ngayon? Kapatid, wag kang mag... Mahihiyang lumapit sa isang cell leader. That's why discipleship is really very important po sa ating buhay. Hindi po, wag kang mabubuhay bilang kristyano na walang nagdi-disciple sa'yo. Type it there, I need a discipler. You need a discipler. This woman, buti na lang may pastor Elisha. Kung hindi, nakupi ng bayad na kukuni na ho yung dalawa niyang anak. Pambayad utang. At alam niyo ba, para makalaya yung anak mo sa pagiging alipin sa Israel ho, kailangan umabot ng 50 years yun para kapalayain, pauwiin. Makakalaya lang isang alipin after 50 long years. Can you imagine ilang taon na yung anak mo? Kung 10 years old ang anak mo, babalik sa iyo ng 60. At mukhang alipin. Ang sakit ho nun. Kapatid, huwag mo nang intahin na kapag dumadaan ka sa maraming suliranin, ang mga anak mo ang maapektuhan. Huwag mong hayaan ang pamilya mo ang maapektuhan. Go and seek advice from a godly person. Go and seek advice. Type it there. Go and seek advice. Yes. Seek advice from a godly person. Kapag ka lumapit ka sa mga pipitsugin tao lang, I'm sorry to tell you, yung barabarang tao lang, barkada, kung sino-sino lang dyan, kainuman mo, kabisyuhan mo, I tell you, mapapariwara po ang buhay mo. And the only counsel we can receive is a divine instruction. Amen? All right. This is the second thing to do. When you don't know what to do, the second thing to do is to trust God's instructions. All right. Type it there. Trust God's instructions. Ayan. Sulat mo. Nandiyan naman sa TV. Dan sa screen mo. All right. So, anong gagawin ko? Sabi ni Widow nung balo. Sabi ni Elisha, anong meron ka? Ito nga lang po, Prophet Elisha. Pastor Elisha, ito lang talaga. Wala na. Langis na lang, kakapraso. Pang isang lutuan na lang ng itlog to, Pastor. Sabi niya, sige, ganito. Sabi ni Pastor Elisha, eto pinakagustong gusto ko dito. Sabi ni Pastor Elisha, well, Borrow as many, verse 3, borrow as many empty jars as you can from your friends and neighbors. Then, go into your house with your sons and shut the door, and shut the door behind you. Pour olive oil from your flask into the jars, setting each one aside when it is filled. O, eto na ha. Pag hindi mo alam talaga ang gagawin mo, you need to trust God's instruction. Ang God's instruction po, nababasa yan sa Word of God, sa Bible. And meron din, kapag ka ikaw ay nagpa-counsel sa man of God or sa cell leader, so makukuha yung God's instruction. Ang sabi ni Elisha, okay, wala ka na ba? Ito lang talaga. Opo, oh wala rin akong pera, pastor. Okay, gawin mo, punta ka sa mga kapitbahay mo, hingin mo yung mga basyo. Okay, pakidala lahat ng mga basyo. So they gathered all the basyo. At ginather na ho ni Catherine na lahat ng basyo. Come on, Catherine, bring all the basyo here. Ginather ng, lahat, ng widow, tsaka ng mga anak niya. Ayan ang basyo. Okay, sabi niya, mangalap ka ng mga basyo. Can you, can you picture that? Ay, kuha ba ng camera? Ayan. Humanap ka ng mga basyo at hingin mo lahat sa kapitbahay mo. Get as many as you can. Sorry, apat lang ito nandito ngayon. Get as many as you can. Empty jars. And pagka nakuha mo na, somebody please hold my microphone. Thank you, Jane. At sabi ni Elisha, unti-unti mong punuin. Habi niya, magbuhos ka. Doon sa kapraso mong langis na meron, buhusan mo ang lahat. Buhusan mo ang lahat ng empty jars. 
So gather as many as you can. Buhusan mo at huwag kang hihinto magbuhos hanggang mapuno ang lahat. Huwag kang hihinto. Huwag hihinto. Tuloy-tuloy. Tuloy-tuloy ang buhos. Tuloy-tuloy ang pagbuhos. And that's what this woman, this widow did. Sige, lagyan lahat. Tuloy-tuloy, tuloy-tuloy, tuloy. There we go. Can we see it? Lahat lagyan mo. At huwag hihinto. Sa likod, pagtapos mo makolek, punta ka sa bahay mo, magsara ka ng pinto, at pag nagsara ka ng pinto, kasama mga anak mo, punuin mo ang lahat ng empty jars with oil. So, ang ginawa ko nitong babae, ay ginawa, ay ganun nga po. Thank you so much, anak. She gathered, she and her sons gathered all the empty jars empty jars that they could. And so they started pouring, they started pouring oil on all the empty jars. Imagine, kung ikaw ay merong kakapraso at sinabi ni Pastor Elisha, kumuha ka ng maraming sisidlan, paano kakasya ang maliit na to sa maraming ire? So that's almost impossible. My question is, brothers and sisters, Kaya mo bang magtiwala sa mga imposible? Oh, come on, come on. Parang mahina yan. Tap somebody, sabihin mo, kaya mo bang maniwala sa mga imposible? <laughs> type it there, kayang kaya! Come on, type it there, kayang kaya! You need to understand. To believe is to see. It's not the other way around. To believe is to see. If you can type it there, it's good. To believe, it's is to see. Alam niyo po, pwedeng makinig ang balong ito sa maraming tao. Pwede siyang makinig sa mga kapitbahay niya. Oh, ah, anong gagawin mo sa mga basyo? Neighbor, mare, mare, maring iska, pahingi naman ang mga basyo. Ma maring, maring inday, pahingi akong basyo. Pwede, pwede. Pambira, punong-puno ka na nga ng utong. Manghihingi ka pa ng basyo. O oh, sige, sige, basyo lang ha. Opo, opo. Pwede naman basyo. Sabi ng mga anak, nanlimuso sila ng mga basyo. Kumuha, nag-gather sila. <laughs> maraming basyo sa Kubaw team. <laughs> uh, marami daw kila Don Tony. Wala na. Kay Nina na lang marami. Ha? Uh, nagbago na. Nagbago na yung mga ano. Oh, Magbe-birthday pa yan. Mahabang buhay pa. <laughs> Thank you po, Don Tony. Chief Tony. You know, there are so many kinds of voices we hear each and every day. The question is, are you going to believe the impossible? Pag ba may pinapagawa si Lord, kaya mo bang pagtiwalaan ang salita ng Diyos? Or are you just hearing your mere conscience or your mere voice? The mere um, human voice. Kaya mo bang pagkatiwalaan lahat ng salita ng Panginoon? You know, we can hear preachings after preachings every Sunday, Thursday, and Friday. But the thing is, can you trust God's Word? It's two different words. Listening and hearing are two different words. Ang listening, iba ho yan. Ang hearing, iba din. When you hear, ay, huga... Kuha mo nga ako ng, ano, ng, uh, ng pagkain. O, oh, narinig lang. Pero ang listening, gagalaw at magdadala ng pagkain. Yung taong inutusan mo. You got it? So, two different words. Two different meanings. You don't just hear God, but you listen to God. Type it there, I listen to God. O oh, minsan, yun ang problema ng mag-asawa eh, no? Yung, isa, yung lalaki, nanunood ng basketball. Si Tahit, nabili mo ba ako ng gamot? Oo, oh, oh, nandyan. O saan dito? O, oh, nandyan, nandyan, nandyan. Tapos, pagtapos ng basketball, si Tahit, nabili mo ba ako ng basketball? Ay, nakalimutan ko, nakalimutan ko yung basketball, yung basketball talaga. O, oh, di ba? Bakit? Kasi ho sa mag-asawa, matalas yung lalaki, naki, naririnig lang, hindi nakikinig. Aha. Oh, sabi mo, kung ikaw ay asawang lalaki, sabi mo, hindi ako yon, Hindi ako yon. Come on, come on. Time it there, hindi ako yon. Kung ikaw naman ay kaibigan, hindi rin ako yon. You know? Come on! Believers, kay nino ka ba nakikinig? The advice of God's instruction of this godly man was kind of ridiculous and crazy. 
Pero sabi niya, kumuha ka ng basyo, punuin mo. Paano magkakasya ang maliit dito sa mga malalaking ire at sa marami pa na makukuha ko? It's really impossible. Pero buti na lang. Type mo dyan, buti na lang. Buti na lang. Buti na lang. Naniwala itong balo. She did what Pastor Elisha said. And many people, you know, have been listening to the voice of deficiency. Saying, kulang, hindi sapat. Many Christians listen to the voice of sickness, to the voice of cancer. Many people listen to the voice of arthritis. Many people listen to the voice of lung diseases, pneumonia. Many people listen to the voice of every kind of virus. But what you should listen to is the word of God. Because in Isaiah 53 verse 4, my God is able to heal. By his stripes, you have been healed. By his stripes, you have been healed. What else? Many people are listening to the voice of difficulty. Ano yun? Magsisimula ka pa ng magnegosyo, nawalan ka na agad ng loob. Bakit? Ang sasabihin ng voice of difficulty, mahirap yan. Ang hirap yan. Hindi ka magtatagumpay dyan. Many people listen to the voice of hopelessness. Wala nang pag-asa yan. Hanggang dyan ka na lang. Hanggang dyan ka na lang. And sometimes, people are good at telling God what they want God to do for them. Lord, bigyan mo naman ako ng ano ah. Lord, bigyan mo ako nito, bigyan mo ako niyan, bigyan mo ako niyan. But they are not good at listening to God's instruction and they are not even available kapag tinawag sila ng Panginoon. Sabi mo, hindi ako yun, hindi ako yun. Hindi ako yun, alright? And this is the last thing. Last thing to do when you don't know what to do. What to do when you don't know what to do is do exactly as you're told. Type it there. Do exactly as you're told. Come on. Kapatid, kapag ka nalilito ka na sa mga sitwasyon, do exactly as you're told. Una, seek godly advice. So, humingi. Hindi siya nahiya. Pastor, please help me. Second, trust the instruction. Magtiwala ka. It may sound crazy, but just believe. Number three, whenever you don't know what to do, I tell you, do as you are told to do. Gawin mo lang. Wag ka nang magtanong. Type it there. Walang, wag ka nang magtanong. I need you here, Prince. Wag ka nang magtanong. The text here says in verse 5, So she did, so she did as she was told. Her sons kept bringing jars to her and she filled one. Once again, can you focus here? Jump on. She filled one after the other. She's filling every jar. So he's, she's filling every jar. So can you imagine how crazy this looks like for this woman? Paano kaya ito mapupuno? But here's the thing. Ginawa lang niya yung pinagagawa sa kanya at siya po ay hindi nagtanong. She did not even ask, paano mangyayari yun? Paano mangyayari ang isang bagay? Paano ako magagaling? Paano ako makakatapos ng pag-aaral? Paano mat matutupad ang mga pangarap ko? Paano ako makakapag-asawa? Paano ako magkakaanak? Paano ako magtatagumpay? She did not only listen. This widow did as she was told. Gawin mo muna. Type it there, gawin mo muna bago magreklamo. Gawin mo muna bago magreklamo. Yeah. Better yet, wag magreklamo. You see, following God, when you don't know what to do, following God is still the best thing to do. Alright? Remember that. It's still the best way to move forward when you don't know what to do. Just follow God's instruction. Ano yung instruction ni Lord? Kapatid, ano man ang pinagdadaanan mo ngayon? Marami ho sa atin, iba-ibang uh, condition. At you don't even know what to do. 
Francisco, ano bang gagawin ko sa buhay na to? Anong gagawin ko sa mga anak ko? Anong gagawin sa asawa ko? Sa negosyo? Anong gagawin ko, Lord, sa buhay ko? Anong gagawin ko? And the best thing to do is to obey God's instruction. You're gonna move forward. After she collected all the vessels, alam niyo po, she just kept pouring. And here's the miracle. Alam niyo po napansin ko, are you ready for this? I'm I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Hindi na siya nagtanong kung malinis ba, gaya nito, hindi naman ito magano malinis. Malinis ba yung paglagyan na yan? Ha? O, tino, ang daming residue, di ba? Malinis kaya yung mga bote? Hindi na siya nagtanong, ano, uh, sanitize na ba yan? Paano magkakasya yung ganito sa ganito? O, paano, paano? Uh, she did not even ask. Alam niyo po, nakakatuwa kay Elisha, si Pastor Elisha. Kaya si Pastor Elisha, hindi niya, hindi niya uh, in-expose kung ano yung mangyayari. Narinig lang din niya kay Lord. sabi mo dyan sa babae niya, magpuno lang ng magpuno. Ha? Magpuno lang ng magpuno. Type it there, magpuno ng magpuno. Magpuno lang ng magpuno. Sabi ni, ni pra, Pastor Elisha, sige lang, magpuno ka lang ng magpuno. Magpuno lang ng magpuno. And you know what happened? Every time we obey, sabi ho ng Bible, the oil did not stop from pouring. Hindi na uubos yung langis habang nagpupuno ang babae ito. Hanggang napuno niya ang lahat na nalagyan, hindi na uubos ang langis. And that's how God is all is all sufficient. Sa lahat ho ng kailangan natin. Huwag kang magtanong, nabasa mo na yan sa word. Eh. Ilang ulit mo na nabasa yan, kapatid? Pero hanggang kailan ka maniniwala or kailan ka susunod? You know, there are many instances in, in, in the Bible or here at DST, kinakausap ka ng Panginoon. Pero parang wala lang. You listen to many voices and you even listen to the voice of fear. And that's too dangerous because if you listen to the voice of fear, you will always be drawn back to do and achieve great things for God. Lagi kang maduduwag, lagi kang takot sa lahat ng gagawin mo at pinagagawa ng Diyos. And you know, sometimes we say, Ay, Bishop, madali naman ho sumunod kapag ka may pera eh. Hmm. I would always hear this line, Bishop, madaling sumunod, pastor, cell leader, madaling sumunod pag may pera. Madaling sumunod kapag ka walang sakit at kayang malakas, walang, nag, walang nararamdaman. Madaling maglingkod kay Lord pag walang arthritis o walang sakit sa puso, walang high blood. Madaling maglingkod kay Lord at sumunod kay Lord. Kapag mabuti ang sitwasyon ng pamilya, napakadali. Pero ibang usapan kapag ka dumadaan mo kami sa pagsubok. Ang hirap pong sumunod. Alam niyo po tong kwento pong ito ng babae na balo, pinatutunayan po na all the more mas madaling sumunod. Dapat mas madaling sumunod kapag nandun tayo sa mga yugto ng buhay natin na hindi natin alam ang gagawin. Yung nalilito ka, nahihirapan ka, all the more ka dapat madaling sumunod. Sabi mo, dapat madaling sumunod. Dapat mas mabilis kang sumunod sa mga panahong nahihirapan ka. Dapat mas mabilis kang sumunod dun sa panahon na ikaw ay may sakit at nararamdamang hindi tama. Dapat po mas mabilis tayong sumunod sa mga panahong walang-wala tayo. All the more, all the more, all the more we must obey God. Times like that. Puti na lang, binibigyan ho tayong illustration ng babaeng ito. Huwag mo sabihin sa akin, madaling sumunod kapag ka meron. Kumusta naman? Eto na ako. Kung nabubuhay lang ang balong ito, sasabihin sa'yo, magpipreach dito at sasabihin, mas dapat kang sumunod sa mga panahong hindi mo alam ang gagawin mo. Mas dapat kang sumunod kapag ka kulang. Mas dapat kang sumunod kapag ka may nararamdaman ka. Kapag may dinadaan ang kabagyo. Mas dapat kang sumunod. If this widow is only living right now, she would encourage you and me, mas dapat kang sumunod. Huwag kang matakot. Huwag kang magtanong. 
buti na lang ang kapalit ho ng kanyang pagsunod buhay ng dalawa niyang anak. Can you imagine? Buhay ng pamilya mo ang nakasalalay sa iyong pagsunod. That's too wonderful to hear. Buhay ng anak mo ang nakasalalay kapag ikaw ay sumusunod sa Diyos. Magtatagumpay. Hindi sila ma magiging preso. Hindi sila magiging slaves. Hindi sila mahihirapan. Generation to generation will stay will call you blessed. Kay nino kayang generation yun? My generation is blessed. Dahil bita, my generation is blessed. My generation is blessed. That's good stuff from the Lord. My generation is blessed. Some of you remember Mother Theresa from Calcutta, India. She used to take care of kids, the poorest of the poor. Someone once asked her, Mother Teresa, why the poorest of the poor? Bakit yung pinili mo yung mga poorest of the poor? Bakit mas malalapit kay Jesus yung poorest of the poor? You know what she said? When Jesus is all you've got, you discover that Jesus is all that you need. When Jesus is all you've got, when Jesus is all you've got, nothing more. When Jesus is all you've got, no money, no education, no, no bright future. When Jesus is all you've got, you'll discover that Jesus is the best and all that you will ever need. Yun po ang sinagot ni Mother Teresa. Because the poorest of the poor, they don't have anything. That's why they're close to Jesus. Because they, they've discovered that Jesus is all that I need. I don't need so much material things in this world. People don't need too much material things in this world. When, she, when you don't have anything, and when everything goes like in chaos, you only need Jesus. Type it there, I only need Jesus. Jesus is all that we need. Kahit si Mother Teresa, pinapoint niya ho ang mga poor people kay Jesus. Mother Teresa na yun. Pinupoint niya lahat kay Jesus. Huwag ako ang sambahin niyo. Tao lang ako. She's pointing everyone to Jesus. And I hope, even in our darkest moment, dapat to, kaya pa rin ho natin mag-point, mag-magturo, mag-akay ng tao kay Jesus. Kahit ano man na nararamdaman mo, makakapag-akay ka. And I've discovered, here, here's very good, Here's a very good revelation. God does extraordinary things through ordinary people like you and me. Dive it there. God does extraordinary things through ordinary people like you and me. Kaya gawan ng Diyos ng mga himala ang buhay mo. Gaano ka man kaliit sa mata ng tao, sa mata ng lipunan, maliit ka man, mahirap ka man, ano man ang sitwasyon mo, I tell you, gagawan ka ni Lord ng mga extraordinary things that you will see His hand working powerfully in your life, in your family. Time it there sa pamilya ko yun. Come on, extraordinary things. Come to your family right now. of Jesus. Type me John, I receive it. God does extraordinary things in the lives of ordinary people who are simply willing to trust Him. Type it there, I'm willing to trust God. Come on, I'm willing to trust God. Gagawa nung pala tayo ng mga magagandang Himala na Panginoon 
if you're willing to trust only when you trust God do you receive do you receive your healing thank you anak he does extraordinary things in people who have nothing I like this ito pang revelation dito sa kwentong to God does extraordinary things to people who has nothing. Who have nothing at all. Kapatid, ikaw ba yung walang-wala? Ay nako. Sabihin mo kung ikaw yon. I receive my miracles. I receive my miracles. Kapatid, kung ikaw ay walang-wala ngayon, huwag kang mawala ng pag-asa. God will do extraordinary things for you right now. She was just willing. This widow was just so willing. Gagawin ko, yes, pastor. Yes, pastor, gagawin ko yan. It may sound ridiculous, nakakatawa, pero pastor, gagawin ko po yan. Lord, gagawin ko po yung pinag-uutos nyo. Kahit ito na lang po, I'm gonna give it away. And you know what? Sabi ni Elisha, ito sabi niya, grabe. Sabi ni Elisha, come on. Sell these empty bottles. At habang kanya pong pinupuno, nagugulat siya. Napuno. Habang siya ay nagpupuno, nagpupuno ng nagpupuno. Ang nangyari hoy, ang dami niya ho napuno ng sisiglan. Grabe! Nagmo-multiply non-stop. Non-stop, non-stop. Ang dami, ang dami ho niya napuno. Pegi pa lalagyan, pegi pa lalagyan. Sabi niya sa mga anak, "Give uh, give me more." Nay, wala na ho eh. Lahat ho napuno na. Ay nako. Nung napuno na ho lahat, doon lang huminto yung sisidlan. Doon lang huminto yung napakaliit na langisan niya. I want to tell you, God wants to do great things and big things in your life. Type it there, God, I'm re- I receive big things and great things from God. Come on. Gagawa ka ng malalaking bagay ni Lord. Hindi lang pang maliitan, pang malakihan. pang malakihan ako come on come on pang malakihan ako tayo pang malalaking bagay ako tayo kaya kung hihingi ka kay Lord lakihan mo na sabi mo lalakihan ko na yeah come on sobrang panlalait yung pagkahumingi ka ng maliit kay Lord kung ikaw ay hihingi sabi ng balo pambayad utang lang pero ang sabi ho ng Bible, sabi ni Pastor Elisha, Hey, hey, hey! Come on! Yan lang ba na ko mo? Pastor, wala na ho eh. Ito lang po nag ko eh. Sabi ni Pastor, O oh, sige, galito gawin mo. Ibenta mo lahat yan. Ibenta mo. At yung mapagbebentahan, pambayad utang, at marami ka pang susobra doon, sigurado. Yun, mabubuhay ka na sa lahat ng kikitain mo. Kaya mo na mabuhay for a lifetime. Pati na mga anak mo, buhay for a lifetime. Hindi kailangan maging alipin. Hindi kailangan manlimos. Because God is a great supplier. God is a great supplier. And I just want to thank God for every small things that sinisimulan niya sa buhay mo. If you can be trusted with small things, God will bless you with big things and so much more. If you can be trusted with small, God can give you all this and even more and even more. Type it there, even more! Even more! Even more! Even more! Even more than what you can ask! Even more than what you can imagine! Even more than what you can desire! Even more! Even more! Mas malaki ang plano ni Lord sa buhay mo! Hindi papayag si Lord na pang malingitan ka. And I'm gonna close with this, church. Kapatid, kung alam mo, parang dumaan ka sa mga sitwasyon ng buhay mo na hindi mo alam ang gagawin. Sabi ng Lord, seek godly advice. Trust His instruction and do as you are told. 
Huwag ka mag-alinlangan dahil ang kapalit nun, pagpapalang malalaki. Buti na lang si Elisha. Hindi niya sinabi, ah, alam mo, pagka nagpuno ka na nagpuno, mapupuno lahat. Wala ho siyang sinabing ganun. Listen, sabi ni Elisha, magbuhos ka lang. Buhos ka lang. Wala hong pinangako si Elisha na mapupuno ang kada lalagyan. Ang sabi lang niya, magbuhos ka lang. Kapatid, kapag ka ikaw ay nagbibigay sa loo, sa puso mo, ng buhay mo sa Panginoon, you commit your life to God. You give your life to God. God will add everything in your life. Kainin mo kaya yun? Sabihin mo sa pamilya ko yun! Sa pamilya ko yun! God will add everything to your life. And today, I want to pray for you. If you're going through tough times, let me pray for you. Please raise your hands. Lord, marami pong salamat sa mga manonood po namin, mga pami pamilya Panginoon na nananalig sa iyo. Salamat, Panginoon. You have assured us na hindi kami pang maliitan. At ang plano mo sa buhay namin, Panginoon, ay mga malalaking bagay. Malalaking bagay, sobra-sobra, marami. Your plans for us are greater and bigger. Lord God, salamat po. Naniniwala po kami, Panginoon, na hawak mo ang aming buhay. Help us, God. Help us to obey you more and more. Help us to trust you more and more. Though it may sound ridiculous, though it may sound impossible, but Lord, we will trust you. We will obey you. All the more, even in the times na hindi ho namin alam ang gagawin, mas lalo kaming susunod sa iyo. Maraming salamat po. Pagpapala at kasaganaan, umapaw sa pamilya mo right now in the name of Jesus. God be there, I receive it! I receive it! Yes! Come on! Let's worship the Lord! Every family, stand up from your seat. Tayo po tayo lahat. Lift up your hands. I'm running to your arms. I'm running to your arms. The riches of your love will always be known. Nothing goes in.
Thank you, Lord. Wow. Grabe po ang uh, message ni Lord sa ating lahat. Amen. At taniwalaan po natin, God will make a miracle in your life today. God will multiply everything that you've given to Him. Alam niyo po, yan po ang sabi ho ng 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8. And God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Tandaan po natin, God is able. Tayo po nga dyan, God is able. You know, when you say God is able, He is capable, sufficient, miraculous power, mighty works. Yun po ibig sabihin ng able, kaya ni Lord isupply lahat ng kailangan mo. Pero dapat po natin maintindihan, kapatid, this is God's principle. Ano, alam nyo, kung bakit para maintindihan nun natin yung kasunod na verse, sinasabi dyan na God is able. Pangalawa po, para malaman nun natin kung paano mag-work yung God is able, God will supply. Kasi bakit? Bakit yun ito? Yung iba kulang lagi. Yung iba kapos lagi. Di ba parang ganun? Alam niyo po, si Lord may principle. Pag sinabing principle, it never change. Ito yung dapat mong gawin. Ito yung kulang na dapat gawin. Alam niyo po, kahit na sa akin yung sasakyan na yon, kapag wala sa akin yung susi, hindi ko mabubuksan yon. Si Lord nagbigay na ng lahat ng blessing sa atin. Kailangan lang may susi. Sabihin mo, dapat may susi ka. At ito po yung susi natin. Sabi po ng 2 Corinthians 9, 10, 11. Magkasunod po yan, ano? Now, He who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. Sino yung gusto natin? Malaki yung harvest. <laughs> yung marami yung harvest. Gusto mo yun? Yung hindi mo kayang bilangin yung harvest. Kasi nga, abundance. Will you, when you say abundance, much more overflow. Hindi mo kayang bilangin. Alam niyo po, ganyan yung mga parating na blessing sa atin. Yung hindi na kayang bilangin ni Ma'am Guada kahit na ano pa siya, CPA graduate pa yan. Yung bang kahit na yung, yung malilito ka na, hindi mo na alam kung uh, alam niyo po, yung blessing na parating, hindi na kayang bilangin ni Ma'am Joan yun. Ewan ko lang. Ako, hindi ko na kaya lang. You know... <laughs> Uh, it's a mind-blowing. Hindi mo kayang uh, nalalaglag yung utak ko. Eh. Ano ba yan? Paano ba yung mga figure na yan? You know, si Lord pag nagpala, sobra-sobra. Oh, hindi kulang-kulang. Si Lord pag ka nag-bless sa'yo, sobra-sobra. Alam niyo po, paano magsisimula yun? Nakpaabot nga yan, 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 yan. Alright. Ito yung kinain ko kanina. Bumili pa ako ng abokado. <laughs> Para pakita lang yung buto. Ayan. Alam niyo po, kaya ko pinapakita ho itong buto na ito kasi lahat ng binibigay natin kay Lord C. Hindi pera. Yung pera, pero kay Lord C. Sabi rito, He will supply seed to the sowers. Kaya yung, pansin niyo po, pagka ikaw lagi ka nagbibigay, magugulat ka. Hindi ka nawawalan. Kasi nga, he supply seed. Alam ni Lord yung mga sower. Hello! Parang mahina na mapalakpak yan para kay Lord. Yes. Alam niyo po yung mga kasama ko rito, mga sowers po ito. Tanim ng tanim, no? Oh, Naku, ito na naman, tanim na. Hindi mga umaatras to, palaban. No? At kayo rin po, naku, nagpapasalamat po kami sa inyo dahil palaban din po kayo. Amen? Walang atrasan. Dahil He gives seed to the sowers. Kaya kapag sower ka, tandaan mo, bubuhusan ka ni Lord ng marami pang seed. Amen? Para lalo ka pang magtanim. Amen? Para lalo ka makatulong. At yun po plano ng Diyos sa atin. Kaya niya babagsak yung mga biyaya kasi sower ka. Parunong ka magtanim. Alam niyo po, kahit anong gawin kong prayer dito, kahit nahipan ko to, lawayang ko, pag-pray ko ng pag-pray to, Hanggat hindi ko to tinatanim, walang mangyayari. Tama po ba yan? Naintindihan. Yung mga farmer, di ba? Yung mga so, kahit na anong gawin mo dyan, magluluhot ka, magtat... Pagkaya ito, hindi mo to tinanim. Boto pa rin yan. 
At yan po ang ginagawa natin kung bakit tayo nagtatanim. Amen? Kasi may mangyayari sa buto mo. Ah, harvest ka. Hello? Yung iba gusto lang harvest eh, pero ayaw namang magtanim. Hindi mangyayari yun. Sabi mo dyan sa comment box, hindi mangyayari yun. Malabong mangyari yun. Gusto, mong, gusto mo lang mag-harvest? Naku po, malabong mangyari yun. Kailangan diyang tanim. Amen. Kaya yan po, mag-pray ko lahat ng mga tanim natin. Ngayon, maniwala ka kapatid. Ang ganda ng message ni Lord. Big things will come. Miracles will come. Multiplications will come. Lord, salamat po. Honor our faith today. Thank you for your word today. Grabe, Panginoon. May multiplication na mangyayari. Panginoon, maliit lang itong buto, pero ang daming harvest dito, Lord. Lahat ng tinatanim namin, Lord, we speak for more harvest. Abundance, Lord, will come. Overflowing blessings will come. And we receive it by faith, Lord. Pagpalaan niyo lahat na magtatanim ngayong umaga. In Jesus' name, come on. Sow your seed. Running to your heart. I'm running to palitawin po natin. Yes! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. At syempre, gusto rin po natin mabless ang ibang tao. Kaya mga kapatid, tayo pong lahat, sabay-sabay po natin, no? Pindutin uli natin yung share button. One, two, three, go. Share! Right post! And then post! Grabe po. Una, nagpapasalamat po kami sa inyo. Talagang hindi po kayo bumitaw. Talagang balik lang kayo. Thank you. Dahil talagang uh, ito yung para natin ang pagsamba natin kay Lord kaya maraming maraming pong salamat dahil talagang masasabi ko si Lord gagawa ng himala talaga sa'yo Amen kaya thank you for tuning in God bless everyone thank you see you Thursday and Friday thank you Kabal Team of Johan Tagwara my friend Bernie B Jan Mami Linda Rachel God bless thank you for tuning in Cause your love has set Come on everybody, what you do then? Now all I can do is Shout it out, are you redeemed? We are redemption Free for healing You are the chosen We are the living We are redemption Free for healing So if you love it, say, say Oh, praise you Lord I praise you Lord ako nang sabi ko, Lord, karami talaga ang kabutihan po ninyo. Alam niyo po, nagpapasalamat tayo kay Lord. Konti na lang. Meron na po tayong Church Live!